Well, I'm in the early morning here before the cruise gets started, and I wanted to, to go uh, back through the greenhouse here to show you some of the gorgeous plants that are shipping out of the greenhouse. Here we're looking at succulents. And these plants that work succulents are just beautiful, nice big heavy plants. So again, if you're looking for uh, high color, high impact plants with very little care, check out these succulents. Well, you can see here a lot of nice seasonal color is getting ready to go and uh, you know the crews are walking the greenhouse adding these on. So if you got your uh, annuals on order, review that with your sales team, you need to get them in. So we've seen these last week, but I wanted to give you another look at the color on these crotons. So we have several varieties to give you different textures, but they all have this amazing color here. I'm just going to pan through this block. You see the long, thin leaves here on some of these varieties. They have nice texture. These are great in a combination pot or on their own in a pot on the patio. Check these out. These are crotons. You can see the tropicals are looking good. Here we're looking at some ficus. Nice, nice plants. Here we're looking at a selection of court petunias and uh, there's several varieties of these petunias that are just looking amazing so be sure to check our hot list and availability. These are gorgeous court annuals. So again I'm back in the tropical section and we're looking at uh, Musa Baju here and uh, you can see these big beautiful bold plants. Gorgeous shape right now, great time to get them in. Again these will look amazing on your patio. So I showed this one last week and you've seen it on the dock. This is Alocasia Lowrider and uh, you can see the nice tight compact habits of this. It's a gorgeous little plant to put out on the patio. Uh, nice as far as uh, small space gardens. You can see here how nice and full that plant is. Try this one, Alocasia Lowrider. Well we've been shipping out of these but we still have more to ship so if you got them on order this beautiful collar on uh, Musa Rojo here would look fantastic in your display. Here's another uh, family, uh, this is Ancetti, which is from the banana family. And you can see the nice deep burgundy color on this one. Look how nice and full these plants are. Gorgeous Ancetti. So great selection of all location and calocation shipping out here. We go from these really nice deep dark uh, almost black color on, uh, on these plants to uh, the model color mojito and the deep greens of like Caladora and Kuchin's Mask. Here's some more uh, court annuals that are looking good. These are sun patients and again nice full court uh, uh, annuals here to give you a lot of color throughout the season. So we're shipping these and I you know I showed them last week this one is Sis is fine and uh, you know very nice 19 centimeter pot here it's got the great variegation the burgundy underside to it awesome in a, in a patio because I like to put those up and climb maybe over a trellis beautiful Sissus. so again we're looking at a tight compact plant and uh, this one is Musa from the banana family and this one is truly tiny and uh, this one has become really popular since last week here you can see the the nice slight variegation of the foliage these are gorgeous. Musa truly tiny. We're here we're looking at Mandevilla and uh, you know the Mandevillas are coming up to the trellis here and uh, they're really starting to ship and uh, again these are gorgeous if you want to put them on the patio you can put them on an obelisk and uh, they just make really nice color plants all season long. Hey check out these beautiful 19 centimeters this grass is Hakanaloa all gold. Wow, just going into another house of uh, Hakanaloa or Japanese forest grass, and this is Oriola. Beautiful, full 19 centimeter grasses. Here we're looking at a new grass this year, and it's a Carex grass, which is a, a very hardy grass uh, for your landscape. This one is Carex Featherfalls. Another great looking Carex grass. This is called Evergold. Well, I'm back in the Cucura house and, you know, it doesn't look like we pulled anything, but we pulled uh, hundreds of these things over the past few weeks and they're going out. Uh, we do multiple crops on these and, uh, as you can see here, the big, beautiful plants. A lot of color in these. Definitely get your Heucher in. So as I'm walking through the Heucher here, I just wanted to bring one out. I showed you several in a week. 
uh, past and you know there's a lot on our uh, again our crop picks on the website but this is one of my favorites this one is called plum pudding and uh, really nice deep burgundy leaf to it and uh, it's been a tried and true for many years look at that gorgeous plant plum pudding look at the nice bright yellow on these uh, this is uh, lime marmalade here got a nice bright chartreuse to yellow color on them and uh, big full plant so again, I showed you the can of Canovas, and uh, you know this series stays nice, tight, and compact. And uh, I've used these on my patio because I really like the foliage. And uh, they're starting to throw flower spikes. You know, we got some time. They're just starting to come up, so it's a good time to get all your cannas in. Again, through the Hucra, uh this one has been a standout, and. There's just so many available in our selection that I can't show you all of them today, but there are crop pictures online. This one is paprika. So here again, I'm in one of the greenhouses and I wanted to show you the lily looks. And uh, this is again, perfect timing to get these in. You can see many of them are uh, butted up, looking good. And uh, you know, you're gonna get a lot of impact on these. Be sure you get your lily look lilies. Here I wanted to show you, this is a Serum Splendens, and uh, this is a great plant for woodland gardens. I mean, look at the gorgeous variegated foliage to that. Nice. Good morning. Hey, it's Tuesday, and I'm back out on the Willoway Docks this morning. Let's take a walk through the dock and look at some gorgeous plants. Well, the color that we're looking here, three-gallon old golds. Very nice, heavy three-gallon. So we'll see more of these coming out on the dock this morning, but here we're looking at Heuchera. A lot of those gorgeous euchre we've seen earlier in the greenhouse. Hosta is another one that's starting to come up here and uh, we're looking at some beautiful hosta. This one is Earth Angel. And in the background there we see the nice color. Those are uh, Physocarpus summer wine. Here we're looking at lavender and this one is phenomenal. Well they got the uh, burning bush back there tied up but I think you can see the enormous plants there. Those are 15 gallon burning bush. Landscape ready. And then here we're looking at our uh, seven gallon uh, emerald green arborvitaes, beautiful. Here we're looking at Lacanthemum Becky, another great looking uh, perennial here. Uh, Thuja, that's Mr. Bowling Ball, more of those Physocarpus, and this is Buxus Printer. Well again, wow, what a difference in that week made with the uh, Haas as they're starting to unfurl, looking really good. You can see here that the uh, Drift Roses are looking great, more of the Lacanthemum. These are two gallon drifts. Look at all those buds, guys. Here we're looking at Wajilla. These are spilled wine. The guys put a little heat to them. You can see they're a little bit advanced and uh, looking good. That color is looking nice. They got little buds in them. Spilled wine. Here's another landscape favorite. This is Thuja Woodward Eye, five gallons. So we're starting to bring in that greenhouse material from this morning. And here we're looking at Cordylines. And uh, we have Jive. And uh, let's see here, this one is coral. Nice looking plants. Big 15 gallon uh, Alberta spruce. We have some three gallon Densiformis. And here we're looking at uh, Hydrangea Corsifolia. This one's Jet Trail from first edition. Here we're looking at the Mandevilla we've seen earlier in our greenhouse walk. And these gorgeous Allocasia and Colocasias are coming in. Here we have some five gallon winter gems. Gorgeous plants. Again, a wide assortment of uh, annuals coming up here. We're looking at the court annuals. We have some uh, herbs here, some baskets. So be sure to check those uh, crop pictures and also our availability. More landscape ready plants here. We have our seven gallon Taxus Hicksi. And in the background there, holy smokes, look at the size of those seven gallon limelights. Here we're looking at some Leatris Cobalt. And you can see the buds just forming in there. Perfect. Well, here's a nice assortment of uh, perennials. We're looking at our hosta. We have hush puppies here. We have whoops of daisy. Um, we have some of the geranium rosans, the phlox candy stores. Nice looking perennials. Again, here we're looking at uh, those are nooks and crannies there. You know, those are looking fantastic right now. Coming on, a lot of nice color and hardy perennials. More sedums. We have some of the perennial hibiscus looking good here. 
Nice. Here we have our uh, three gallon, this is Syringa Myri, and uh, you can see, look at all those buds on there. And then we have a uh, very nice uh, three gallon, this is Pugster series on the Budlia, and uh, we have some Summer Crush. Look at that nice color on the Lemon Daddy. Here we have some, uh, I believe those are Burgundy Lace Fern coming in, these gorgeous uh, Bernera Jack Frost, Brilliant Autumn Ferns, nice. More lilacs on the dock, you know, and uh, they're just starting to open. So we got plenty of time for these to give you a lot of nice color here. Again, the guys did a fantastic job on them. Buds are just starting to open. So if you got lilacs, I'd get them now. So here we're looking at our seven gallon limelight trees and they're just starting to open. So again, paniculatas a little bit later in the season as far as color, but they're just starting to leaf out. The guys trimmed the heads back. They're gonna flush out and be gorgeous. Seven gallon limelight trees. Here we're looking at some sun blaze roses, you know, and uh, these are just stunning. They have a lot of bang for your buck, a lot of nice buds and color here. Sun blaze roses. Here's another nice hydrangea. This is incredible. And uh, so the arborensis varieties, again, are a little bit later than some, but they are starting to come out. They're looking good. So again, more color coming in from the greenhouse. You can see how popular those succulents are. And uh, we still have a nice assortment. Plants that work, quartz succulents. There we got some more of those gorgeous uh, lemon daddies. We have seven gallon, I believe that's Catinus Grace, and these big three gallon Ramnus Fine Lines. We talk about these almost every week on the dock, and they just keep seeming to get better. Look at these three gallon Bernie Bush. So here we're looking at Syringa Bloomerang. You know, and these lilacs uh, are starting to bloom now. You can see they're starting to show a little color. There's a lot of tight buds. So let me boom in here so you can see. They're just starting to crack color. And uh, you know, this whole series is unique that they'll continually bloom throughout the season. They slow down a little bit in July and August with the heat. Then they crank back up and bloom all the way to frost. Bloomerang lilacs. So here we're looking at some uh, heated. These are hydrangea summer crush. And you can see they're loaded with buds. And uh, I'm gonna peek over here though. These are natural season. And they're just right behind them. So. Uh, we got a lot of great hydrangeas for you. These are very nice though. You can see the buds are just starting to form in the base. So uh, we got some time on them, but you know, that's kind of when you want to get them because they give you the, the shelf life. This is something that you may want for some instant color. So we've seen the drifts and I'm just going to pan through this order. You can see just a bunch of these beautiful three gallon uh, roses going out. These are all part of the knockout collection. Awesome. The peak, these are those drifts. And then we're coming along, and these are two gallon knockout series roses. And again, the guys did a phenomenal job on them. Loaded with buds, gonna offer a lot of color. Here we're looking at Wajella Wine and Rose. And again, this is part of that crop that was heated up a bit. Just starting to pop out some color. So here you can see they're checking in, but that is uh, some really nice gray owl junipers. Next to them are Stuart Stonian azaleas. Still got a lot of nice color there. And then rhododendrons, you know, rhododendrons are a week or so away, so but you want to get them in so they're blooming on the lot. We got great selection, beautiful rhododendrons. You can see them checking in there, more boxwood, hollies are looking good, perennial hibiscus are starting to come in. Man, look at these three gallon hydrangea petiolaris, full trellis. I'm gonna swing over here. I wanted to show you these uh, perennial, uh, I'm sorry, succulent combos. And uh, let's just kind of pan here so you can see these beautiful selections. These would look great on the shelf, even better in your home. So you can see the Liriope is starting to come back out, looking really good. And then I'm just peeing up here to show you, these are uh, three gallon Miss Kims. And man, they are loaded with buds. The lilacs again are, are still coming on strong, loaded with flower buds. Definitely want to get them in. Clematis has been hot, we're shipping a lot of them. Here we have uh, um, this one azalea, this one pleasant white, so it's a little bit later. We have some Franklin's Gem Boxwood that are looking really good. And this one is Sedum Autumn Joy. Dianthus, there's several varieties of Dianthus coming up. They're just loaded with flower buds. Hemerocallus are gorgeous, can full, multi division plants. And then you're starting to see Dutia start to show uh, color. You know, they're, they're just starting to leaf out. And, uh, you know, they open up with these gorgeous little pearl like flowers. Um, this one is Chardonnay Pearls, but we also have Yuki Snowflake and Cherry Blossom. 
just to update on grass. As you can see, just a little bit of heat makes a big difference. They're coming along. You'll start to see those coming along. And there's new pictures on the site now, so if you want to take a peek by individual variety, uh, you can keep updated on those. So let's see here. We have some uh, paniculata hydrangeas. We're looking at two-gallon bobos, and uh, they're just starting to break leaf here. Uh, next we have quick fire and a three gallon jump. Man, those are branched nice. Quick fire is one of the first to bloom, so if you're looking for some early color and a paniculata, you might want to grab those. And the, man, these three gallon limelights are just gorgeous the way they branched out and starting to leave. Here we have Physocarpus tiny wine. Nice, rich color on those. Here we're seeing uh, Ivory Halo Cornus starting to come out. And uh, you know they're just now starting to leaf out, but that gives us color in the summer, and also the the red stems offer color in the fall. Here we're looking at Physocarpus Little Devil, and uh, this one's Sabucus Lemon Lace. This hydrangea is a Serrata or Mountain Hydrangea, and this is Tough Stuff Red. These have really started to pick up. I mean, we've been shipping these for weeks now, and they're just gorgeous full plants. You can see how full they are on the trellis. And uh, this is the best of breeding in Clematis as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you can see how full they are. They're loaded with buds. This would be a great present. Modern Brilliance. And uh, this one is Ostrich. Look how nice these ferns are. More of those seven gallon uh, Emerald Greens. You can see how nice, full, consistent they are. And then the three gallon Burning Bush next to them. A lot of landscape jobs going out. These are ready to go. So here we're looking at peonies, you know, and last week they were just starting to come up and you can see they're still moving and uh, there's still plenty of time to get them in so they'll bloom on the lots, but definitely peonies should be on your uh, list for the next shipment. So there we have some Stellas and, uh, you know, again, the Hemmer Callus are looking good. Here we have some seven gallon Incredibles and those are just starting to open up, but they'll look fine. Three gallon uh, Buxus, a lot of nice one gallon ground cover and flats going out. This one is one gallon pink. Here's just a sample of the chick charms. Again, look at those cute little plants. Beautiful color, easy care. Those are great for those little miniature gardens. Chick charms. More peonies there. Here we're looking at Dianthus. These are all Paint the Town series. And again, those succulent combos are really going out strong this week. More ferns here. We have tassel. We have uh, this is burgundy lace. We have parsley fern. In the background there, we're looking at uh, the candy store series of garden flocks. You know, those are coming up nicely. Perfect size for those because if you get them in, then they'll bloom into your lots. Look at that nice shape on those 50. These are 15 gallon now. Green giants. That's a value. Here we're looking at more of the, the yellow is Dutzia. In the background is Tradescancia Sweet Kate. And then the Stilbies are just looking amazing this week. Look at the buds on these three gallon Roseanne Elegance. I mean, holy smokes. They're tight, tight. I mean, they're just starting to get sticky a little bit. So that means we got, you know, a few weeks for them to open up. Gorgeous plants. Three gallon Roseanne Elegance. Here we're looking at our Mary Splendens and more of those gorgeous uh, Bloomerang Lilacs here. We can see the guys checking in. These orders are working really hard getting the loads ready to go. Beautiful plants today. Here we have Achillea. Boy, the, the seduction series. We have strawberry and, and uh, sunshine here. They're looking really good. More of that uh, gorgeous Dianthus. Here we have another card of the uh, Digitalis. And we, you know, we've seen those last week. These are perfect, guys. Look at the buds down in there. You want to get these in and get them uh, on the lots because uh, you know they'll bloom. They'll bloom for weeks. Digitalis. Here we have some really nice three gallon Ilex Galabras. Mr. Bowling Ball again. These are seven gallon Ramnus fine lines. Holy smokes, look at the size of those things. They're four foot plus. In the background there is, uh, those are 15 gallon Green Mountains, looking really good. And then uh, 15 gallon Texas Captains. I mean, these are 42 inch. What a value, guys. So this is a nice sample of the, the perennials and you know, we have far more than these, but you know, we have the uh, stilbies you see here, the uh, lucanthemum are looking really good, perennial hibiscus are coming up, pulmonaria high contrast, here we have some, uh, those are monardas, variegated iris, just a nice selection. Here we have 
have more hostas, uh, and we're looking at some coreopsis starting to come in, sedum flaming carpet, the lilies, this is the tiny lily series, and uh, they're budded up, just starting to open, so get those in, gorgeous perennials. Here we have uh, Allium, this is Millennium, and then uh, Dianthus, this one's Spectabilis, very nice. Um, those again are the uh, Dianthus from the Paint the Town series, looking really good. Hostas are looking amazing. Another Leucanthemum, I think that's banana cream. And then more of these roses are coming up. Be sure to check the website for pictures because uh, there's just so many of these Dianthus looking really good right now. They're just so hard to just pick them out by variety. But again, the pictures are on there, they're looking good. Here we have some more natural season hydrangeas, and you know, they still had a little bit of heat to them, so you know, we kind of tricked them into pump coming out a little bit earlier. Got nice foliage on them. Uh, in about two weeks, two to three weeks, you'll start to see the buds forming on them, but again, this gives you nice shelf life. These are natural season hydrangeas. Again, look at these peonies, they're coming up looking really good, guys. Here's a little closer look at that uh, Dutzia. This one happens to be Yuki Snowflake. And uh, nice full plants here. They got buds. They're just loaded with buds. Look at all those buds. More plants coming up. Check these out. This is a two gallon rose. This one's hot paprika. Very nice full plants. They're setting bud right now. Looking good. Here we have two gallon at last rose. And you know, this is a shrub rose with that gorgeous kind of peachy apricot flower to it. And this one has fragrance. So very low care, nice fragrance, compact habit, at last rose. Here's a nice boxwood. This one's uh, very disease resistant. It's in the Plants That Work series. This one's Buxus Little Missy. You can see those cannas are starting to ship, and they should because you can see the buds in there from earlier this morning, and you can see they're very nice full plants. Here we have some new roses coming out, and uh, these are part of the Oh So Easy and uh, this one happens to be mango salsa, but you'll see some new varieties being offered this year. Gorgeous. So more spilled wine. Again, these were heated up a little bit. You can see the nice foliage starting to bud out. And again, the gorgeous chartreuse color of lemon deck. This is a very popular physocarpus. This one's Amber Jubilee. And uh, it keeps this nice color throughout the season. Gorgeous plants. I can't get over the size of these uh, 19 centimeter. These are ostrich ferns. Some more of the digitalis coming up to the dock here, and again, they're tight budded to start to open. You got plenty of time to get these in, and uh, these will give you that nice color throughout the next weeks ahead here. And uh, these have bloomed for several weeks, so get your digitalis. Holy smokes! Look at the size of these astilbes that are shipping. Here we're looking at more. I believe that's uh, Autumn Joy, and then we have some Salvia. This one's East Friesland. We got Marcus. Several varieties. Again, the hostas are really starting to open up nice. So you can see the guys are already starting to load carts and get things ready to, to load on trucks this morning. So that was a quick walk through our dock. Be sure to check our crop pictures and availability. Our sales team's ready to get your loads and orders ready to go. Geez, I hope we're loading this truck for you.